hello guys and welcome to another week of the 12 weeks challenge with the korean food promotion institute and today we're going to be preparing mandu mandu is a korean dumpling it's a, one of the challenging meals that we're giving and um, is made up of flour and vegetables and we also have mushrooms which we soak for 30 minutes and also diced it then um, we also have beef which we um, kind of shredded or made it cut them in tiny bits so let's see what we have in the carton also we have the recipe book we have some dry tofu glass noodles we have some salt and sesame oil garlic powder green onion powder soy sauce vinegar black pepper kimchi we have more soy sauce and vinegar sesame oil and um, the korean wheat flour so let's set this aside and start. So guys, we're starting with um, the flour. Setting aside three tablespoons for kneading. And we're going to use about six and a half to seven tablespoons of water to knead. And we're just going to add the water gradually so that we don't have the dough too soft. And we have a good consistency. You have to be careful here not to have lumps. So you need to knead the dough very well. Can you see how stretchy it is? So we're just going to put this in a wet cotton cloth and set aside. Here we're going to soak our tofu for about 5 minutes in warm water. Then we're marinating our beef with some soy sauce and some garlic powder and onion powder we also have some black pepper just a pinch guys and we're going to mix that together and set aside our beef here is minced in the boiling water we're going to boil our glass noodles so just going to use about half of this that's about 30 gram once it's a bit soft we're just going to turn it out we don't want it to be too soft in a bowl we're going to add some seasoning to marinate the glass noodles, the mushroom. Now we're adding the beef. And we're adding our tofu, the kimchi, which we've drained the liquid because we don't need the liquid in dumpling. So now we can see our dough has sat for about 30 minutes. And we're just going to knead this again. And use a rolling pin and roll it flat on the board it shouldn't be too thick and shouldn't be too thin however you really does not matter all you all that matters right now is to get your round cutter and get a round shape here we have um, our flour and we're just going to put some water around the edges and put in our mixture our dumpling mixture and we're just going to seal the mouth to form like a half moon shape the water is going to seal the help seal the mouth we we'll do the same thing again put the water put the dumpling mixture and just seal the mouth So you can see that there are some spaces so that they don't join together so we're using a steamer guys to steam the dumpling for about 20 minutes guys this has steamed for 20 minutes can we see it's now solid and we have our dumpling guys and we're going to make this sauce made of soy sauce and vinegar and water it's called vinegar soy sauce tada we have our mandu that's a korean dumpling we can see that it's already hard 
and we're going to be eating this with the vinegar soy sauce guys i'm sure you like what you see this is really nice